In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all my Derrick Rose build in NBA 2K23, man. Now here's why I think this is the Derrick Rose build because of the stats. And I feel like this is an all-around guard build. If you want to make another player before this game ends, man, y'all stay tuned. But if y'all could do me a favor and like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications to the channel so you can be notified when I post. And yeah, we're going to get into this build, man. So basically, you want to make him a point guard, obviously. This is the Rose. You want to give him a right hand or a left hand. Doesn't matter. I personally like right because I'm right-handed in real life. And then, of course, you want to go with jersey number one, height 6'3", 196 pounds, 6'9", wingspan. And you can either go with solid or defined. You also go with defined body shape. So for the driving dunk, you actually want to give yourself a 90 driving dunk in game. If you go to Derrick Rose's actual stats on his player on the roster, you actually see that he actually has a 90 driving dunk. So this is perfectly fine. You also need an 80 driving layup so that way you can get all the good layup animations like circus or job right, you know, things like that. And also a 76 close shot and a 44 post control. Now having an 80 driving layup and a 90 driving dunk and you're being 6'3", you're gonna be getting up there. And even if you do get knocked out of the animation, from your dunk because it happens to me a lot you will still be able to finish in contact because you have that 76 close shot and on top of that you get silver fearless finisher which helps with that a lot because it was times when i was playing rec and i would get knocked out of my dunk animation and i would still get the and one only because of my close shot being so high and having a nice high driving layup that's why when you make these builds, you need to have at least an 80 driving layup, in my opinion. So that way you can get up there, bro, or have a higher chance of making it. Because if you have below a 70 or anything like that, you're not going to make it through contact as well. I'm talking about the finishing, though. We're going to get into the shooting. So you actually want to give yourself an 86 three ball and a 76 mid range. Now, you only have a 76 only for the simple fact that you're a smaller guard. And, you know, us smaller guards like to go for threes more. Hey, that's my personal opinion. I think that's the most thing with 2K. And you also want to give yourself a 75 free throw. I forgot to add that in. But, yeah, um, us smaller guards like to go for threes more than twos. Like, I know you got to take what you take. But you still have that 76 mid-range, so obviously you'll still be able to hit in the mid-range area. You won't be complete liability or you just can't hit at all. Like, no, your mid-range is still high enough to hit consistently. So if you don't have the three and you want to take a pull-up midi, then you can do that. And also with having an 86 three ball, definitely be able to hit from beyond the arc only because you have silver limitless range. So you can basically shoot at the hash mark or behind the hash mark, especially when you're in takeover, you're going to be pulling like you have a 99 three ball. Literally, when you get that takeover, it's, it's a wrap. It's over, man. You already have an 86 three. So if you keep making your shots throughout the game, your stats actually go up and already having that high of a three point rating, you're good. Now, we're going to move on to the playmaking. Obviously, this is Derrick Rose, man. This is a short guard, so he has to have that 92 ball handle. He has an 80 speed with ball, and a 76 pass accuracy is decent. It's not the greatest, but it still gets the job done. You have the requirement to get LeBron James pass style. And on top of that, you have at least an 80 speed with ball. So that means you get up the court fairly fast. You're not slow. You have that extra five because all you need really in this game is a 75 speed with ball. Obviously to get that Michael Jordan dribble style, but we got that 80 so we can move up the court just a little bit faster and get down to the lane. We'll also definitely say y'all should try out using hyperdrive on gold or silver at least because it definitely makes your player move faster. So I'm just giving y'all that tip now. But as y'all can see in these clips, I'm making a lot of great passes. I see that my teammate is on the fast break with me, so I throw him the lob. I'm making a lot of pass to assist, and of course, you'll be able to dribble. You have a 92 ball handle. You get all the good dribble moves. Literally, Steve Francis, Trey Young size up escape, Damian Lillard size up escape. Shouldn't have no problem with dribbling. 
but if you do or if you want to learn how to dribble i do have dribble tutorials on my channel just to let y'all know i'm putting y'all on man i want y'all to really get right with this player this is probably one of my most fun players on this game to use it's 6-3 can basically do everything you can still play defense and on top of that you're not going to get bullied as much only for the simple fact because when we come up to this defense i'm gonna show y'all how it gets now as y'all can see my teammates cutting in he gets the dunk off and now we're gonna move on to that defense that i was just talking about now look at the interior you only get a 50 you get a 79 perimeter which is actually good for a 6-3 like most of these smaller guards do not have that much defense they like max out their steel or something that's not defense bro you need defense in every category or at least something now as y'all can see you get an 85 steal a 60 block a 60 offensive and defensive rebound so you can get something here and there i mean look at this i'm getting blocks with my 6-3 bro really tried to go up with that and i just blocked him like he couldn't do anything as y'all can see from this play bro i blocked the center like i'm really positive that vertical has something to do with block rating or like just jumping up there in general so yeah bro this is why the physicals is definitely top tier for this 6-3 for the speed you want to give yourself an 81 acceleration you want to go all the way up to an 87 strength you want to go all the way up to a 58 and for the vertical you want to give yourself an 88 man yes an 88 vert and for the stamina you max that thing out to 98 now as y'all can see from the badge challenge you get 20 21 22 and 20 now let me just tell y'all something about the defense i'm not gonna lie i swear to god i've snatched blocked somebody with this player before this 6-3 gets up there like it gets active it, it's really like that it's an all-around build as y'all can see you get slashing shot sharp and play and i would usually run slashing and, and like shot creating or maybe sharp and slashing you know i don't really use play take like that i mean nobody really uses play take like that but yeah, here's the shades that you get. You get Steve Francis, Lonzo Ball, and Drew Holiday. As y'all can see, you built yourself an inside out shot creator. I feel like this is definitely a Derrick Rose type of name. Now, this is the end of the video, and I just want to say that I appreciate all y'all for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, why don't you like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.